So the next step in all of this, I need you to put your pencils down, put your eyes up here. The center part, our pupil, it should be the darkest, darkest thing. Bless you. Okay? When we shade, we open our palm, we put our pencil, our whole pencil in it, close it up, and our pointer finger is what's putting the pressure on our pencil. Our pencil is laying parallel to the paper, and we're using the entire length of the lead. It's kind of like when we were little and we wanted to color the sky, and we didn't want to hold our crayon like a pencil and color the sky a little bit at a time, so we peeled the crayon and laid it on its side. Same thing what we're doing with the lead. Okay, so keep that in mind. So you shouldn't be, everybody look up here, nobody should be doing anything with their pencil. So you should not be like this, using the point of your pencil at any time. It should be down on its side like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be coloring in the iris, the colored part of the eye. The iris has got lots of different colors to it, lots of different shades of color to it. It's called value. There's light, there's dark, there's medium. We're going to start with the dark value first. I want you to watch the entire thing, then you can do it. So put your pencils down, put your erasers down, put your eyes up here. You have to turn your paper as you're doing it. So my lead is on, the, on its side. I'm going from the pupil out every single time. Never go up and down. Never color across. That's not how the color goes. The color is coming from the center of your eye and bursting out like a starburst. Okay? So from your pupil, using the side of my lead, some long, some short, but all coming from the center and bursting out. Turning constantly. Oh, come on. Like that. Okay? Do that. So it should be almost as dark as your pupil. Nothing going side to side, nothing going up and down, everything coming from the center out. Come get some up here. Sorry, I had a sub Friday. I didn't check the pencil tub. There's a baggie right there up next to the blue. Get some that are sharpened already. Shouldn't take long. Turning and coloring, basically, is all you're doing. And they don't have to be even all the way around. Once you're finished, put your pencil down. That way I know you're ready to move on. Don't make it too small. you got a big old eyeball there. It should be going almost all the way out to the edge. Okay. 
Next thing we're going to do, we've got the darkest value being our pupil. We have the medium value coming out from the pupil. Now the rest of the iris is going to be our lightest value. We're still holding our pencil the same way. I want you to look before you draw. You don't hold your pencil like you're writing with it. Now all that white space, we're still going from the center out and you're turning your paper, but now you're not putting nearly as much pressure on it. You're going all the way to the outside. If you go outside, that's fine. You can clean it up with an eraser later. Please do not turn your pencil and go side to side. Do not go up and down. Everything comes from the center out. And it doesn't have to be colored in solid. It can have some light areas. That's what gives it variety. Try not to go too far outside so you don't have too much to clean up. Remember to turn it so that you're never coloring side to side or up and down. Always from the center out. When you finish, anything that went outside of that iris, you clean it up because you want that white of the eye to stay nice and clean. And you will get fingerprints all over your eyeball you're drawing. That's natural. Yeah. Now, especially if you smear it with your fingers. Now, if you smear with your fingers, you get oils on your paper, and the pencil won't cover that up. Is that the only eraser that's at that table? Okay. Please do not keep the eraser sitting next to you. Put them in the middle of the table so everyone can use them. I see people holding their pencil like they're writing. You're going to have marks, lines, instead of shade. It's also going to be really hard to erase if you're not holding your pencil correctly. Please stop playing with the eraser. Thank you. All right, the next part that we shade in, this is a very, very light shade. These muscles over here in the corner, you're still holding your pencil on its edge. This is a very, very lightest shade. But those muscles have to be shaded in because they are not the same as the whites of the eye. So you want to shade those in. so that the white pops out even more. And if you get any lead over into the white of the eye, just clean it up with your eraser.
Once you've got that done, go back to holding your pencil like we were sketching. And I want you to just lightly sketch over that first line we did. That's going to automatically make it darker because we're putting more lead down on it. Do the same thing with the lower line, but just those two lines. Don't do it with the eyelids. Just the top and the bottom line. And when I'm going over it, I'm trying to stay right on the line that I had. I'm not making it fatter. I'm not coloring it in. I'm just sketching on top of it. You can hold your pencil like you're sketching, not shading. So like you were writing. Now, eyelashes. Everybody has them, okay, even boys. Some boys have longer lashes than girls. It's really irritating, okay? <laughs> it is, isn't it? Um, what I have learned is that you're not remembering your cursive that you might have learned in third grade. Everybody look up here for a second. A cursive, a small cursive E looks like this. You remember that? Okay, that first mark, this, is the shape of an eyelash, the upper eyelash. It's that shape that you're doing. Okay, it's got that slight curve to it. So that's the way you're going to do your eyelashes, but don't do them yet. Put your eyes up here. The upper eyelashes are going to start over here by this muscle. Our nose is over here. Our ear is over here. Our eyelashes start off small here. They start getting larger as they go over and they start curving out towards your ear. Okay? So watch. And they always start on this first line that we drew, not the eyelid. I had somebody draw them up on the eyelid the other day. First line that we drew to start this whole picture. They start on that line and they go up. And they start getting longer as they get towards the center of the eye and the corner. Okay, then you go back and you add some more. And they're just light and fluffy. And girls tend to want to add more than boys and that's fine. And then as you add more, they're going to get darker because you're going to have more on there and more pronounced. Make sure you go over that eyelid and then once you get what you think looks good, you just stop. Don't do any lower lashes yet. It's what it is. <laughs> Not on this big one, but yes. We don't have room on this big one, but yes, I'll teach you. Okay, so get the upper lashes done. Lower lashes, if you don't do them correctly, they can really start looking like spider legs. Okay? They've got to have a little curve to them, and if you put too many, that's when they really start going bad. The less you do, the better off you are. The smaller they are, the better off you are. They're not going to go down and cover that eye bag that we did down here. Your bottom lashes curve the opposite direction. They're going down, and they're curving this way. So watch. Still starts on this line that we did down here. Still light and curving up towards the ear. And I'm just going to do two rounds of them and be done. Okay? So you can barely see them, but really that's the plan.
Can you see him? Okay. We have two more things to add to this eye. Don't go straight down. I see some people going straight down, and I see some people curving the wrong direction. They're kind of curving in towards the nose. Your eyelashes, your upper eyelashes, because they tend to be thicker, cause a slight shadow. Typically, light is coming from above. And if you look, there's a little bit of a shadow that goes along the upper part of your eyeball. Watch. I'm going to put my lead down on its side again. And I want you to watch. Don't do it yet. But I'm going to put a bit of a shadow that follows that first line we drew. Right here. Right here on the white part of the eye. And then across the iris. It's going to be darker at the top than it is anywhere else on the iris, but it's curved following that top line. That's going to help it look a little more realistic. Do that. And then the very last thing is what I call an eye bright. Our eye is covered with a cornea that protects our eye. It's moist. It's shiny. Light reflects off of it. If you look across the, at your neighbor or your friend, everybody has a white reflection from the light or from the window. If you put that in your eye, it makes it look more realistic. It kind of automatically gives somebody a, a light in their eye. You can see on the pumpkin right here, the white that I painted, it's rounded and it's rectangular because it's it's the shape of the light, but it's round because your eyeball is round. Okay? So you take an eraser and you actually erase a rectangular part like so. Okay? And that just gives it a little extra pop. Yep. And that is the eyeball.